If you're that person looking for an organization currently sponsoring charity work visa, you have to watch this video to the end because in this video, I'll be talking about this organization sponsoring work visa for foreign nationals. <music> So just before we delve right into the video, I would like to give you a brief recap of what this visa is all about. So this charity work visa, it's also known as volunteer visa, is a type of visa that allows the holder or foreign national to come into the United Kingdom to volunteer or to work for um, a charity organization for a particular period of time, usually uh, a maximum of 12 months. However, you can extend on this visa over and over again depending on whether this organization you need your services in the country so i'm going to, one of the benefits of this of having this um, charity work visa is that you can actually come into the country with your dependent partner or your um your and your children as it were so and you when they come in with you your partner can actually pick up full-time job and be able to support the family and yourself while you volunteer for this organization it's not entirely free you know some of these organizations pay you stipends they actually uh, give you some money that could take care of your living expenses some some of them could actually provide accommodation for you it just depends on the hospitality or the uh, plans that they have for their volunteers so and while you're doing that you are eligible to actually pick up a second job you know and when you pick up that second job you can work for a maximum period of 20 hours on that second job that can also help to support you. So another benefit of this charity work visa is that you can actually study on that visa. So while you're in the UK, you can study certain courses. You can study that course in the UK that can also help to enhance your chances in the country. So what benefit does this visa hold for your dependent children? So your dependent children, when you bring them to the country, they can actually benefit from the free education, you see? So they can benefit from the free education. They can attend, you know, um, primary school colleges, as, as it were, and it is free of charge for them. Then that's a huge benefit for you, and they will be able to actually relate with other kids and learn, you know, a new culture, and that will help them to actually, you know, get better. Additionally, I would like to talk about the requirements for this um, visa, just the, the requirement. Yeah. So this visa, you are required to have certain amount of money in your account to prove that you can support yourself while you are in the country. Well, without much ado, I would like you to actually go to, to, the, to the link in my description to watch that video where I explicitly explain the requirement and everything that is that you need to do to be able to properly package your application that will land you this um, sponsorship opportunity. So without uh, wasting time, I would like us to go right straight to the companies currently sponsoring. So this one has um, the ability to sponsor large number of persons. Last year in 2022, they sponsor over 600 volunteers. And the name is the Church of Jesus Christ of Later Day sent the church of jesus christ of later day saints so god knows and loves he just is, is a church and they sponsor people to different um branches to different aspects of the church you know as you can see in the picture when they sponsor you you'll be helping out you know navigate life challenge let's see what okay so you see you'll be helping out to you know, um, support vulnerable people in different aspects of the country. You can see how very happy they are with the people they support. Okay. And let us, let me go further. Let's check and see the drop down menu. Let's go to serve, serve, volunteer and serve. We click volunteer and serve to bring you to this place so you see so many aspects of the this organization that you can serve all right the two great commandments are to love god and to love our neighbor 
we follow the example of Jesus Christ as we serve and help others. So basically, you will be given the opportunity to serve others, um, make them happy while also deriving joy from that. So if you, for you to be able to do this, you must actually have passion for helping others. If you know you don't have passion for giving support and help to others, don't venture to try this because you will not enjoy it. But if you find joy in putting smile on the faces of other persons, if you are a humanitarian type of person, then this is a good pick for you. And they also have aspects where you go out to share the gospel. You know, you serve in various capacities. So, as you can see in the picture, so verily this they are sponsoring because last year they sponsor a lot of people so you call them or write to them and tell them that you are ready to serve and then they will send you a form and let you know what and what is involved in what they do and how you can come to the uk to join them this is one of the charity organization that requires volunteers and they can sponsor uh, a charity work visa for you if you ask so have a look at their website and the name is miracle care center that's the website address the, you just enter that on your um, search engine and it will bring you to this place we are miracle um, care center so have a look at what they have got here okay and you scroll down it says apply online because this company they're actually into um they're actually into care this is a care company but they sponsor volunteers anybody abroad that is willing to come and volunteer in the organization so what you are all you have to do is you fill in this application form all right you fill in this application form not this first one this oh yeah all together do you see where it says do you have a current work permit you say no do you require a work permit you say yes all right or uh, Please indicate your work availability. Mm -hmm. Or uh, basically, all you have to do is actually to send an email to them, write to them, and let them know that you are willing to volunteer for their organization that you have passion for um taking care of people looking after vulnerable persons in the society and then you let them know that you are willing to come to the country to volunteer to work for them if they can sponsor your visa for you and after writing the email you send the email to this here at me at miraclecarecenter.co.uk because many of these um, organizations they don't put it in their website whether they are sponsoring volunteers or not so you have to write to them and request for sponsorship but very rarely they sponsor um, volunteers this evil healthcare also look it up that's the website up there they can give you charity work visa. They can sponsor you if you write to them, letting them know that you are willing to come to the country to help. They can offer you um, charity work visa. This one is also into uh, supported living, care and all of that. So you can read about what they do, supported living. We provide bespoke supported living packages for adults who have a learning disability and would like to live independently in their own home. So they are charity organizations and they sponsor um, charity work visa for volunteers. So write a passionate letter to them and let them know that you are willing to come and volunteer. These are what you'll be doing. 
you'll be taking care of these, I mean, these elderly people. All right, respite care. And that's their phone number. This is that phone number. You can phone them up. And they said, we are constantly finding ways to grow and improve. Okay. So phone them up or you write an email to them, letting them know that you're willing to come to the, con the organization to work for them as a volunteer. And then they will send you the form to complete. 